hello guys welcome to the fourth part of this uh, project so here we're going to add a data flow tax the data flow tax is actually located in the control flow tax and uh here you can see after you have created the connection manager for the source and destination data you add the data flow tax to your package the data flow tax defines the data flow engine that moves data between source and destination and provide a functionality for transforming, cleaning, and modifying data as it's moved. The data flow tag is where most of the work of an extract, transform, and load data, uh, which is the ETL process, occur. So here you can see the data flow tag is actually uh, works. It helps uh, in providing the pipeline between the the source and the, and the destination, and it's actually where all of this particular extracting, transforming, and loading of data actually occur. And it's actually located in the control flow tab so here you can see we have some steps here on how to add it the first one here should be select the control uh, flow tab it is located in the ssis uh, toolbox and we say expand favorite and drag a data flow tags onto the design surface of the control flow tab then we should rename it to this Let's just copy this here to this and uh we should right click and check and make sure that this is set to english so let's do that real quick uh, in our previous video, we added a connection manager for our, uh, our destination. What we did was we came here. Let me just give you guys an overview of what we did in the previous video. We came here and we selected an OLDB connection manager. We added it. So here you can see this is the one that I've actually worked on before. So it was actually a, a new one that we added. We selected a, a new one. So we just entered local host here. Just enter local who's here. I'm just showing you guys what we did in the last section. Just enter local host. And uh, as I've said earlier, if you're using a, a password, select SQL Server Authentication, or you come here and um, select SQL Server Authentication, or you leave it, leave it on Windows uh, Authentication. That's if you're not using a password. Then once you do that, uh, it will load all the database for you. So you pick the database and click OK. And that's going to select the database here for you. So that being said, let's come back to what we are doing here today, which, is, which we are adding the data flow tax. So if you come to the data flow tax here, now this is the control flow uh, tab. So we are asked to come to this particular SSIS toolbox pane and expand our favorite, then drag this onto the control flow tax surface. Right? Am I seeing the right thing? Yes. We should uh, drag this onto the uh, design surface of the control flow tab. That's still the same thing. So once that has been done, we are asked to rename it. We are asked to rename it to this, which I've already copied already. So uh, let's come here and uh, let's right click on it. And I'm just going to paste that. Let me remove that dot and hit enter. So this has been renamed. So that's just all. Uh, then after that, then we will not change the property to United States. So I'll come here and right click on it. Go to property. And it will appear down to this side here. This right hand lower side. So I want to make sure that the location is set to English uh, United States. Okay, this is set to English United Kingdom. So I want to change it back to English United States. So let's choose English United States. So that is that. So let's close it and let's confirm it one more time. To be sure there's actually English United States that is there. So there you can see English United States. So I think that is all. So once you right click on this, it will take you to the data flow. Just right click on this control flow here, this right, this control flow uh, tax here, it will take you directly to the data flow. And we'll see how that is being done in the next uh, uh, part of the video. For this video, that'll be all. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please feel free to like and also hit the subscribe button. Share this video to your loved ones. See you guys in the next video.